come across this staircase where it looks like it's really conforming and compliant. And from a design point of view, it's fantastic. I mean, look at how the handrails come down here. It's got the return that meets the code and Australian standard. The TGSI is aligned with the handrail. You know, they're 300 millimeters back. And the stair edging, the stair nosing, these stair trims look fantastic. You know, they've got the, they've got the 10 mil drop down and it's got this good 50 millimeter contrast. And these other bits here, which are not required under the code, they're debatable of whether they can be there or not. But nonetheless, this contrasting strip does contrast against the going of the stair. That's the part that a person stands on. But I want to point out to you the quality of this product. Now, see this area here? This is the edge of the stair. No one walks here. Look at this. Look at that. It's just glued on. Okay, now that's, that's okay if it's the appropriate glue, but like, that's a trip hazard. And how long before the whole thing comes off? And I noticed this over here on a previous video you may have seen, but this is just lifting by itself. And why that's lifting, like, look at this here, look, why that's, why that's lifting is the gunk that's coming in there, not very nice, <laughs> sorry about that. I need to talk about this so is that's slowly lifting this piece of carborundum or whatever it is it's it's lifting it's delaminating it from the stair trim substrate now that is a tripping hazard and it's non-compliant because it has to be a single unit they have to be connected and they have to be able to be fit for purpose and safe in the design this is not safe in its design now Things like this really aren't acceptable because yeah, they're, all, they're all coming off. So this could be a water problem, it could be a heat problem. Who knows, the, the adhesive that this is used to put this bit down onto the aluminium, they could be using you know, an adhesive that's active rather than, you know, what I mean by that, it could be like a tape, a double-sided tape. Double-sided tapes remain active. They never actually become part of the two surfaces. They don't tend to work very well outside. But this is just a real, a real shame. You know, I mean, it's brand new work. It's 18 months old. And, you know, how long? How long has it got to last? Who knows? But it's non-conforming in the current state. It needs to be replaced or rectified. And hopefully other people that are watching this video will just go, you know, the product's got to be good. It's not just about the price, guys. It's about meeting conformance and compliance. And most importantly, helping the people that this is designed to serve.